The Edmonton Arts Council Public Art Program on behalf of the City of Edmonton is seeking a Canadian Indigenous artist or artist team for public art at the uh, Tawatina Bridge in Edmonton. Joining us to talk more about that call out from the Edmonton Arts Council is Catherine Kerr. Hi, Catherine. How are you? I'm good, Jeremy. How are you? Am I on? You're okay. on, my dear. You're on. Uh, yeah, this is a huge project. Uh, let's try and crunch the numbers here. Tell us all about it. We're really excited to announce uh, the Toatina Bridge um, Public Art uh, Project in particular to your audience, but let's not forget that there are three other uh, calls that are out now that are also open to all Canadian and international artists, so everybody listening is eligible for these. They are We are looking for highly skilled artists because the budget, says you can see, are high. This one is nearly $300,000. Yeah. Um, and it's also in a very prominent location, uh, talking specifically about the bridge. Uh, this bridge is going to cross the river approximately where the existing pedestrian bridge is between Louise McKinney Park and the South Bank mm-hmm. near Mutart Conservatory. Um, and so you can imagine just the, the vistas from downtown Edmonton and from other parts in Edmonton would be very visible. So we're looking at two locations on that bridge, both the piers, which are the, the prominent uprights that will support the horizontal guidelines uh, of the bridge and also the roof canopy area um, in the pedestrian zone. So the ridge will have two layers. Then the LRT train will travel on the top layer and the pedestrians and bikers will um, travel on the bottom lane. And that in that ceiling area is one of the opportunities. And that's about 200 meters long and the piers are I forget, I think 80 meters tall. And we're not asking wow. artists to cover the whole canvas, but <laughs> there is a zone within that where something really dramatic and dynamic could be displayed. The River Valley is so important to um, the Indigenous people, which is why we wanted to uh, the call to Canada's Indigenous artists. At the same time, we know that uh, just because we're Indigenous, we don't necessarily know the cultures and the stories of the people in this area. And so that's why we've asked... Uh, those artists to consult with local uh, Indigenous communities, knowledge holders, and so forth as they develop their project. So we're really excited to see uh, a local expression somehow displayed within these one of these two opportunities. Right. The Tawatina Bridge is yet to be built, but just looking at the projected look of it, it's going to be a gorgeous uh, little area. It is. The um, the bridge itself went under quite a bit of co- consultation, and this was, has nothing to do with the Arts Council at all. Right. Uh, there were three designs that were displayed, and this was, I think, uh, it was the preferred option. It might be a hybrid of two that were uh, proposed. So there was a substantial community engagement with that. There's an awful lot of development that is coming around the River Valley as well. Um, and access from the downtown or the ridge area down to the valley itself. And so that's exciting. Now, the projected deadline is Tuesday, March 29th. Put your submissions in. Now, again, the bridge is not built yet. How do people go out and and submit their submissions uh, to you? They can call us. We have a number if they can have access to either the ads that you've been putting out in the papers and also to your radio program please google the edmonton arts council go to our public art calls and you'll see actually we have a fair number in there right now but the tuantina bridge is toward the bottom and um you just download that call and all of the information is in there any questions you have go to rob harpin he'll be the project officer working on the project or myself feel free to call um and we'll guide you through the submission process if you need that help Edmonton Arts Council does amazing work in the province. Uh, Give us a quick glimpse into what you guys do. What do we do? A lot. (laughs) (laughs) Right now we're really busy. We we are coordinators of public art primarily, the percent for art policy for the city of Edmonton. So that means that every capital project uh, that has construction dollars from the city of Edmonton put toward it. There's public, it, it triggers a public art percent for our policy. Mm-hmm. Um, so in the case of the Valley Line call, there are actually 34 calls that will come out over the course of the building of wow. this line. Uh, they're sort of grouped into themes and so forth, but they're in total 34 opportunities come uh, all together. Um, so that's a, snat, a, a snippet, I guess, if you'd like, a window into what we're doing right now. We've just uh, selected the artists for the Indigenous Art Park in QE Park. Mm-hmm. Uh, you might have heard about that. We're not able to mention who those artists right. are, but um, call us back when you hear that those are announced. I'm sure you'll be happy with some of the results there. We're happy with the 
curation. Uh, Candace Hopkins was the curator for that. Okay. She's uh, from the Carcross Tigish First Nation, and she's also the facilitator on this project. So we'll have some continuity and experience to follow through from one project to the next. Um, other projects, the arena, you've heard of the arena. So we have four projects coming up there. Alex Janthier is the, the star. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And we talked to him on the show. He's uh, pretty excited for that as well. We are, too. Can't Just can't wait to see what he's... Uh, going to put in the floor there. The River Valley, as you were saying, huge in the Aboriginal pod yeah. community. Uh, one thing I really like about this project, if you are shortlisted, you will have uh, opportunity to interact with uh, local Indigenous elders. Tell us all about that. Well, for us, it's important because if you aren't from Alberta or Edmonton or have any connection to the, the long stories that um, are carried by the knowledge holders here, then you're less likely to come up with an idea that feels contextual. Mm -hmm. Public art is all about context. So the idea of a workshop, which is we'll bring in the shortlisted artists, and um, and we've already done this with the Indigenous Art Park to it. I think a huge success on all parties felt really happy with the opportunity both to present mm -hmm. and to listen, to see the site. Um, so people will hear local stories. They'll get to um, see what it's like here. They'll see the site. They will... Um, listen to the the voices and the words and it has the effect of changing maybe preconceived ideas uh we're also asking people not to come in and, and do something that would be totally foreign to this area so this gives them a chance to actually speak one-on-one -on -one with individuals who live here and can tell long story you know really interesting stories in the call if people download it now you'll see that there's a really lovely set of uh, stories from uh, Elder Jerry Saddleback about the oh. significance of crossing the river. And, um, you know, there's spiritual stories, there's practical stories, there's uh, the very interesting idea of what a bridge is, for example. Um, and, and so those are the things that we hope to share. Again, this is a huge uh, project from the Edmonton Arts Council and the City of Edmonton, the Tuatina Bridge. If you need more information, the link is on our Facebook page. And again, Catherine, uh, if people need more information, can they submit their uh, entries to you? You can give me a call. Give Rob a call. The, that information, our phone numbers, without me making a mistake and saying my phone number now and getting <laughs> right. it all wrong, um, you'll find it online. Um, and uh, we'll walk you through that process. Uh, the guidelines are in the call. It's essentially we'd like to see your CV or, or your um, your background information, uh, it, pictures of your past work, ideas for this bridge. Just very preliminary, of course, because it, go th it will go through an evolution. And also some ideas toward how you might think or perceive yourself uh, working with local community. Um, so those are the main criteria. I think there's a few other. Now you're going to make me read my document, aren't you? <laughs> so there's a submission form you have to check off, fill it out. Uh, some references, of course, that can speak to your background and, uh, you know, return postage and documentation list. So it's, it's very straightforward, but we're happy to walk anybody through it. And again, the deadline for submissions is uh, 4.30 on Tuesday, March 26th. Catherine Kerr from the Edmonton Arts Centre, awesome having you in this afternoon. Thanks very much for talking with me, Jeremy.